Hi guys, welcome to this van tour of this Citroen Relay L3H2. It's our signature Kunu model, it's in a six meter van, but it's a four berth. Let's check it out. Turn this into a four berth camper van. What we've added on the top is a pop top and we've also included a hidden hatch using our signature slatted wood ceiling. So this is nice because it blends in and you just lift this up and you've got access to the pop top. Stored behind the driver's seat is the telescopic ladder which is used to gain access to the pop top. So I'll, I'll show you how that works now. Hi guys, so I'm up in the pop top and you can see I've got the mattress behind me and you've got LED lighting all around both sides and at the base and there's a small light switch down here to turn them on and off. Let's go back downstairs and see what the rest of the van's got. Looking inside the shower room, you can see we've got a nice full length mirror on the back of the door a couple of hanging solutions to obviously hang your towels or items you want like coats and things like that. We've got white Rico panels on the walls, an extraction fan in the side uh, due to the fact that we had a pop top so we couldn't fit a roof light there so we need some ventilation. And then we've got a lovely walnut slatted duckboard at the base with a porta potty toilet um, and then a heat vent in the corner to convert this into a drying room. So behind the shower cubicle, we've got some overhead storage. Um, these are all on gas struts and the door fronts in this van are all handleless. So we've routed in this shape here so that you can open them. They don't have any handles protruding, which is really nice. And then we've got the control panel up in this third unit here with your water level gauges, your control for your inverter, so you can switch that on, your boiler control, your battery monitor, and then your remote switch for your LPG solenoid. So you can open the bottle, which is underneath the van from inside. Uh, the van itself. The kitchen unit, we've got a walnut butcher block worktop with the undermounted sink and these inserts are standard. The tap's really nice, it's in a black finish and it's got this um, extendable hose feature. We've got the Thetford triplex which has got the three burner hob, oven and grill and then we've got a cutlery drawer here with a nice walnut uh, insert, a bin cupboard here. This is for pots and pans down here and they're all soft clothes and then in here is some storage for cleaning products and the like and then your Truma Combi boiler is located behind this door here. Something different in this van conversion is the, the painting. They've gone for dark colours all around the base so including the garage wall and the seat boxes are all in this lovely dark green colour. On the garage wall you've got this extra drawer here uh, above the 80 litre fridge which is a Dometic CRX80 compressor fridge. Box seats, they obviously bolt together when you're driving. When you go static you can release the bolts, they pull apart so you can dine opposite one another. Um, the, the small movable seat can also be moved into the central location and bolted in position when you're driving and it forms a nice sofa seating area with plenty of space in front um, for you to utilise however you want. To add four belted seats into this van conversion, we've kept the double passenger seat up front but we've added a swivel plate and then in this box seat here, we've added a, an Agouti folding seat which has an ISO fix but it also collapses and stows away when you're not using it. So it's a really cool feature. The Agouti seat is also removable if you're not using it for the first, fourth person you can take it out of the van completely and stow it away. We've got a nice feature wall at the head of the bed and a couple of reading lights with some USBs in the bases so you can charge your mobile phones at night. On the near side of the van, on the foot of the bed, you've got these overhead cupboards which is an additional storage normally for clothes and things. And this is uh, ended with a nice walnut trim shelf which we've also put in the kitchen at these handmade spicy shelves which uh, look really nice and match the ceiling lovely. We've added recesses in the walls at the head and foot of the bed to create a standard double size mattress, one meter 90 by one meter 35. And underneath that, we'll go to the garage space and see what we've got in there. 
This van features an 83 litre freshwater tank and a 62 litre wastewater tank. They're both underslung and insulated. They've also got an external shower point here so you can wet down your bikes or your muddy dogs after a long walk. The hot water is from a Truma Combi boiler and that features a 10 litre capacity providing hot water at 40, 60 or 70 degrees. In the garage space we've lined the floor with some hard wearing coin black rubber. Uh, we've got an electrical unit in here which features a 230 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery from Roma and we've got plenty of Victron um, chargers so you've got the solar charger, the DC DC charger and the inverter charger which is this multi plus 800 VA unit here. That will allow you to have 230 volts whilst off grid up to about 600 watts continuous output so enough for your laptop chargers your phone chargers utilizing the three pin sockets inside the living area primary means of keeping yourself off grid is the solar charge controller um, which is linked up to a 400 watt flexible solar panel on the roof and the secondary charge is the dc dc charger so when you're driving your vehicle um, you'll be receiving about 30 amps worth of charge into your leisure batteries. If the solar yields are low and you don't particularly want to be driving your van to recharge it, you can plug your van in at a hookup and receive 35 amps of charge from your multi as well. Thanks for watching this van tour of our latest conversion called Raven. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Do like and subscribe to our channel for more van life content. I'll see you next time.